first off. Um, okay, what you need to do this uh, tools, you will be needing a screwdriver, a very thin, small screwdriver for these black screws, and you will be needing uh, a knife that you are not so you don't care much about the blade, it's okay if you ruin it. You will be needing uh, some sandpaper, you will be needing some uh, super glue or uh, Loctite in this case, and you will be needing a small drill. Uh, if you use the 9 gram servers, this is a 1.5 uh, millimeter, millimeter drill, and let's put it there. And uh, of course, you will be needing two 9 gram servos. And this time I have opted for uh, Metal Gear um, uh, 180 degrees uh, uh, servo for the pan part because I want to be able to look 90 degrees to the left and right and an ordinary 9 gram servo for, for, the, um, for the tilt part. So, okay, so first off we just glue the sides to the bottom plate just put a little dab of glue okay and now we put that aside and here is where the knife comes in now I have pre uh, I've scraped this off before to make sure they fit because well, all the times when I bought this kind of of uh, mount the ball bearings will not fit on these small pins so you'll have to take a knife and you'll scrape off some of the material until they fit so like that and you see they have a little uh, what do you call that? Flange there, and you want to put that on the inside. No glue here, just put them in, in the hole. One, like that. Two, and then you take your mount, and it doesn't matter which which way you put it. You can put it every which way. Put it in like that, and like this, and about like that. But first, before we glue the servo to the mount, we need to prepare with the rod and all the other stuff. So we'll take and screw this on. And I have found earlier that um, for this mount you can uh, just screw it all the way in as far as you can. <sighs> okay, so now you will choose which which side you want the, the this rod. And I usually go with this side. I don't have a it doesn't matter, but I usually do. Uh, and I also usually have the, uh, the cable going backwards because then it won't be in the way for the action when the uh, mount is moving. So the important thing here is now to get the servo the right distance. So first we will mount a little thingamajig here. It has a little flat area right there, so now here comes like so, and 
we click that on there. Now we take server arm here, and these holes are too small to let the screw through. So I will take my little drill. I will Now I will drill into my hand, I think, but I'll just have to take one for the tea. Ow! <sighs> ah, damn, that hurts every time. I'll take one for the team. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> side mm -hmm. you can see if you look closely on this little these small balls you can see that they have uh, now I can't get the camera to focus but but uh, they have a uh, right way and a wrong way to put them in there so this was the wrong way So I screwed up. I took a too big, big of a drill. Don't take 1.5 millimeters. Take a small drill. I don't have a smaller drill, so I'll just use my screwdriver. Take the next next hole, and now actually I will take a new. Sorry about that. This is the great thing about the internet is that everyone can make a video. And the most horrible thing about the internet is that everyone can make a video. Anyone or everyone. Okay, here is a new one. So I won't drill this. This drill is too big, 1.5. Um, I should have known, so I just take my screwdriver and make the hole a little bit bigger and then yeah no <sighs> I won't blame you if you're not watching anymore. Okay, let's do this again. Please, 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 please. Yes. All right. And just for safety, I will put a little bit of hot glue on on the bottom there, like that. <sighs> Finally, okay. Now we put that in there. Like so, and then we'll take the servo and dry fit it like so. We want it 90 degrees and put it in there. And this is so you don't get get it in that way or that way. You want it 90 degrees. So before you glue it, you want to have done all these parts first so okay now we'll take away this like that and peel off the 
peel off the sticker on the side there. Oh, sandpaper. Maybe it's the cold. Okay. So, once again, like that. I love sound effects. I always made sound effects as a kid, and I thought, why stop now? Okay. Like this. So, I'm quite happy there. It's important to get all these things straight all the way, so I'm I'm quite happy with that. So a dab of no a dab of super glue here. Like so put the lid on again and now you have to be Okay, so now we have the servo, and you can see that the when the servo moves, the plate moves, and you can adjust all these things later. But it's fairly it's fairly nice now, fairly okay. Right, so now I will um, take the servo screw, put it in there. So now it's time to put these small things on. The stoppers, as I call them, and just no, just put them on there without glue first, of course. Okay, now. Put a little bit of hot glue on the ends. So you can see that they have pre drilled a couple of holes in there for the mount, but they never ever ever fit the holes for for the servo. For the servo mount or, or the servo arm, <laughs> so I usually hot glue this thing on, uh, and so we'll do this this time too. We take out the sandpaper. like so, and now here's a, here's an important part. Do not put the servo arm on the underside like this, because if this comes loose, the glue comes loose, then you will lose your camera, and or you won't see where you are going. And if you are far away, uh, this is yes, this is disaster. So put it on the inside here, because even if it Get unglued, gets unglued, then the camera will just stay approximately in the same direction. Maybe tilt a little bit on one side or the other, but you will still be seeing where you were going, and you possibly uh, will not lose your camera. So I will just put some hot glue here. Not hot glue, super glue, or Loctite, just a couple of dabs like that, like so, and oh. No, like that. And then you can take your pan servo.
all that. 